Hello. So despite disabling Samsung Pay and Bixby, I'm still having my Samsung Galaxy watch pop up with the Samsung Pay alert. So my next thing I'm going to try before I do a complete reset of the watch, which I'm really trying to avoid doing, is I'm going to try setting up Samsung Pay because the thing that's popping up is talking about this is how you use Samsung Pay and all of this kind of stuff. It's like a helpful how to use it screen. And because I don't have it set up, I'm, I'm not able to follow the instructions that people post about how to um, disable it and force stop because it isn't actually installed. So now I'm going to try installing Samsung Pay and see if that helps it. So it says that I need to open the Galaxy Wearable app on my phone and install Samsung Pay that way. So I'm going to switch over to my phone now and show you the steps. All right, I am now on my phone which is a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and I am installing Samsung Pay so that my watch hopefully stops popping up with a Samsung Pay pop-up. I've never had Samsung Pay actually installed on it, but we are going to give this a shot. So what I'm going to do is over on my phone, I am going to click on the OK. So on, on the phone, I just showed you the video that I went into the Samsung Pay screen, and when I click on OK on there, now I get a pop-up on my phone. <laughs> Wait, the other one was my watch. Now I'm on my phone. I'm going to click Install to install the Samsung Pay watch plugin. Now it's sort of annoying that the watch is doing all these pop-ups about something it doesn't even have installed, but that is the way that things go. So it is going through installing. Oh, it says installed. I have to give it permissions and click OK. Oh, sure. What's the worst that can happen? I'll update it. All right, so now we have Samsung Pay installed. Let me just double check. Oh, nope, it's still installing. All right, we'll give it a second to install. The watch says that it is all set. The phone looks like it's all set. Let's go into wearables. So I'm going to go into wearable, which I can either get from my Samsung folder or doing a search on wearable. And I'm going to click on apps, which is the four dots. And let's see when I click on Samsung Pay what it says. Well, it says the latest version is installed. Battery, storage, and RAM. All right, so now I do have the option to force stop on here, but I am going to just now reboot the watch and see if that helps, if, if having it installed and then rebooting the watch helps it stop doing the pop-up thing. So I'm going to stop this video and switch over to the watch. All right, so I have now installed the Samsung Pay app onto the phone, and I'm going to press and hold the bottom right button to turn it off because it's always good to do a reboot of device after you install something onto it just to make sure that it clears everything out of its memory gets everything set properly and press and hold the bottom right button and press and hold the bottom right button to get it to start up again so this is a Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 why is this not focusing on that? Well, it is close enough. So I got my camera trying to focus. I don't want to zoom in more. Yeah, it's fine enough. All right, so the watch is going through its startup. It's odd that it's saying 100% because it's clearly not 100%. There is 74%. It, it's been draining really fast with this whole Samsung Pay pop-up stuff.
happening, which is part of why I want you to get this all resolved. All right, once I rebooted my watch, I had to go to my phone <laughs> and click the button, and then the watch came up with this get ready to use your Samsung Pay on your phone. So this is a very back and forth and back and forth process. So now we got an OK button here, and when I click on OK, it'll do something on my phone, and I'll record that part on that end. All right, so now we're on the phone again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's getting us set up for Samsung Pay. So I'm going to hit start. I'll agree to the terms, whatever they are. <laughs> Clearly I haven't read them. Next. And this is where you can load in cards to be able to have it connected to your account. And we'll look at settings. And we'll look into notifications and we will set this to silent and we will turn off allow notifications so i did both of them just to be sure here we'll turn on notification again just to make sure that it is silent here let's turn off lock screen not allowed <laughs> silent so we have those two set and we're also going to turn off allow notifications so all three things have been set now And now I am going to reboot both my phone and my watch and we will see how this does because one would have to believe that now that we have the watch set up with Samsung Pay that hopefully it'll stop prompting us about it because we've got it set up and we've also got the notification set to not notify us about activities. So I will let you know how this goes. This is the next step in my process of trying to troubleshoot the Samsung Watch, Samsung Pay pop-ups. All right, so I have put a credit card number into the Samsung Pay app so that it is wholly set up now. I have rebooted both my phone and the watch. And if we go in here into the list of apps, you can see that Samsung Pay is now listed as an active app in here. And on the phone side, I set Samsung Pay to not have any notifications. I set it to be wholly silent so that it would not notify. So now the question is, with all of these settings, with Samsung app in a fully happy state, we will call it, is it going to pop up randomly and think that it needs to do a Samsung Pay activity? I will also note that I have this set so that Double click. Doesn't do anything with the Samsung Pay. None of the buttons, you know, a double click on there brings up my calendar. So no clicking of any buttons should activate. So it shouldn't be a button pressing kind of problem that causes Samsung Pay to come up. So hopefully for some people, this set of steps will fix the Samsung Pay pop-up, and if not, then we will move on to the next level of escalation to see if we can fix the problem. But hopefully for many people, this will solve the issue. Okay, so as it turns out, this has actually made things worse, because now it is still doing a Samsung Galaxy Pay pop-up. But now because there's a credit card involved, it pops up and asks me to enter a PIN. And then when I type in the PIN, it shows me the credit card and tries to get me to buy something with the credit card. So even having it installed doesn't stop the pop-up from happening. It just changes the nature of the pop-up that now it's trying to do a purchase instead of before it was trying to get you to install the Samsung Pay software. So at least in my case, uh, activating and fully installing Samsung Pay changes its behavior but does not stop the overall annoyance of it. So we will move on to a next step.